Beginning temperature, 18 degrees. There we go, that shows it, 18 degrees. Beginning mileage, 39863.2. Three nine eight six three point one. Happy January first, twenty thirteen. Used to call it two thousand thirteen, but somebody pointed out in Facebook we never called nineteen thirteen. Not that I was alive then, but people back then referred to it as nineteen thirteen instead of one thousand. 913 so I guess if you want to remain with the same convention saying 2013 doesn't sound like it goes with the system as much as 2013 of course if you want to get real picky you just say each individual number what year is it 2013 So anyway, I got quite a few things to talk about. Don't know if I'll even cover them all. You know, it amazes me when people say they get on the ride and they can't think of something to talk about because I usually have too much to talk about. I have to whittle the subjects down to just a couple. I talked with Navy Thomas this morning at work. Anybody of his Facebook friends you saw, he posted the video where his boots are all covered in oil from his BMW. So instead of riding it home from work, hopefully his brother's going to get out the trailer and come and get it so they can take it back and then check it out themselves to see if they can find where it's coming from. Or if not, I guess then it'll be going back to the dealer since it's obviously still under warranty. I chatted with him and I asked him if, it, if he thought it was related to that tip over at the end of his driveway, which I kind of doubted myself too, which he does, because if you watch his video, it only tipped like about, I don't know, it seemed like 45 degrees or so. It went from, a, from the driveway and about two inches of ice, it looked like, off the end of the curb and then tipped over, but the ice in the curb itself was high enough it was kind of holding the bike up so the bike really didn't tip a whole heck of a lot it's not like it went over in its side and rocked back and forth then you would kind of expect to get a little bit of an oil spill when you have something like that happen in fact usually it runs pretty bad because you've got oil in the upper cylinders but it didn't look to me like it really had tipped that much so might be something just slightly related to that but it doesn't seem like that itself should have had that level of effect not much traffic out today in the, the stores seems all of the major stores are open today on January 1st I don't really remember what it usually is in the past but I looked up online and I guess except for some stores are going to be holiday hours so they'll be closing at 6 o'clock instead of 9 o'clock tonight but other than that, it's going to be business as usual. And I'm guessing one of the reasons, if they hadn't planned this already, was because the holiday season probably was a little bit less spectacular than they wanted. So if they can get a few more people in to shop and run some special deals, all the better. I'm hoping the 2013, at least for the economy, will be a little bit better than the last one. It's like... Every year you think, well, I'm just going to tough it out for one more year, and then it's going to get better. And you get to the next year, and it's just as tough, or a little bit tougher even. So the one subject I wanted to talk about, first of all, among probably about two or three others I could add on, but I'll probably just stick to this one, and then save the other stuff for the next video. Gentleman's Nine made a video talking about gun control and I'm not going to really get into anything but just addressing one specific thing that he brought up and that was that uh, he would be very happy if we just put it to a vote of the general public 
as to what level of gun control we're willing to accept. And to me that's rather unfortunate and I do think a lot of people think that way that um, our God-given rights that uh, even more than our constitutional rights, some people, and I, I actually call it constitutional rights too, but typically the correct way and the way our founding fathers looked at it is that our God-given rights that the Constitution just acknowledges. So putting our God-given rights to freedom of speech or our right to not self-incriminate ourselves or our privacy, our freedom to assemble, our freedom to worship where we choose, putting those to a popular vote to me is never ever a good thing under any circumstances you might think you're solving some problems doing that but I think in the long run exactly what you were trying to solve by majority rule you end up in the long run getting back if you vote to give the government so much power that they can take away your freedom to protest or make it so regulated that you have to get a special permit and you can only protest in certain little tiny areas that they designate and you know very well they're going to be very far away from any kind of uh, place that you could make any significance in your protest. They'll put you way off in the edges of town somewhere whereas the events going on that you want to protest in the middle of town eventually you uh, might as well just say I've given up the right completely so your idea of uh, and, I, and I realize protests do cause violence I mean just like guns they do have the capability of creating violent situations and people have died in protests of uh, freedom of speech and but would you really you know just to save I mean you could you could argue it will giving up your freedom of speech will uh, theoretically save some lives I mean if protests never happen and the uh, it doesn't get out of control and they start don't start lighting fires and tipping cars over uh, as soon as somebody totally regulates your right to protest you can argue that in the long run yeah that will save lives but my gosh the society you end up living in after you give up that you always look back even if it doesn't affect you it's going to affect the generations following you and you're going to look back or they're going to look back or your grandchildren are going to look back and say man what kind of society are we living in now because somebody chose to give up some of the rights it's it's the same thing when people ask me well uh they know i'm very much uh pro second amendment and i believe in ownership of guns and people say do you really need a gun that shoots that many bullets do you really need that type of gun well do you really need you know all that freedom of speech do you really need the right to be able to protest right in front of an event do you really need if the um, world economic powers are meeting somewhere in a building do you really need to be right there at that building to protest and my argument is yes you really do need that freedom to be right there if they're going to uh regulate you so much that they make you protest in the next town over so you don't cause any trouble um, what kind of effect are you really going to have so our rights is never a matter of well what could you really uh, do without or what could you really do you really need this I mean it's not a matter of needs if we get down to basic needs even under some of the most heinous corrupt governments they still provide the majority of people with their basic needs of food water and shelter but you know if you can't think of anything else that's going to be good about your life other than that you just get the basics then is it really the kind of society you want to live in so anyway I think I will stop rambling right here so I don't end up making this a 20 minute video and then I will continue my ride cut it off here and then when I'm done with my ride, give the ending mileage. 39870.8. 39870.8.